your referee, Howard Foster. And now, your referee, Howard Foster. Je, Hassan Mwakinyu anamtaka bundi ya yupi baada ya kumchapa Sam Egerton? Sauti hii hapa sikiliza kwa makini then nitakuja kuniambia Hassan Mwakinyu alikuwa anamtaka nani. Yes, bwana mambo vipi na tumana tutakuwa buhelo afya njema hata mimi pia niko vizuri. Nimepata wasaha wa kuweza kulitazama kwa mara nyingine tena pambano la Hassan Mwakinyu dhidi ya Sam Egerton yule kutoka pale nchini Uingereza, pambano ambalo lilimpa mafanikio makubwa Hassan Mwakinyu kwenye kare yake ya boxing baada ya kuonesha uwezo mkubwa kwenye pambano lile lenye ushindani mkubwa zaidi na hapo ndiko ambako kila mmoja alimfahamu Hassan Mwakinyo. Yes, nakumbuka ni pambano ambalo Hassan Mwakinyo aliweza kupata eh, ushindi kwenye raundi ya pili baada ya kumchakaza Sam Gigton kwa kumpiga technical knockout mwaka 2018 ni pambano ambalo kila mmoja akimuuliza akitazama uwezo Hassan Mwakinyo anaweza akakwambia ni bondia ambaye alionesha umahili mkubwa kweli kweli kwenye lile pambano. Yes, sasa wakati ninapigwa lile pambano tuweza kushuhudia kila kitu ambacho Hassan Mwakinyo alikitumia manake kama kocha wake aliweza kumuagiza kwenda kufanya ile kazi basi aliweza kufata maagizo ya kocha wake kwa asilimia moja tuliona fitness aliyokuwa nayo bond balance ambayo ameweza kuitumia Hassan Mwakinyo lakini pia kubwa zaidi ambayo ilivutia watu wengi sana kwenye finishing yake na ndio clip hiyo ambayo nimekuwekea hapo Hassan Mwakinyo wakati anafanya finishing kwenye lile pambano angalia namna ambavyo aliweza kujituma kuweza kumaliza ule mchezo ni matokeo ambayo Hassan Mwakinyo huenda alikuwa anayaota wakati akiwa anaingia kwenye lile pambano na yeye pamoja na management yake pamoja na mwalimu walikuwa wanajua kwamba anaenda kuifanya kazi na ndio maana lile pambano limekuwa na mvuto mkubwa sana. Ukitazama leo, ukitazama kesho, ukitazama kila siku halichoshi kwa sababu kila kitu ambacho alikifanya hasa na Mwakinyo kilikuwa perfect sana kwenye lile pambano. Of course alimpata mpinzani pia ni mzuri, mpinzani ambaye alikuwa na rekodi kubwa lakini tukamshuhudia hasa na Mwakinyo wakati ule akipandisha rekodi yake mpaka kufika he, katika nafasi ile. Hassan Mwakinyo baada ya kupata matokeo yale pale nchini Uingereza zidi ya bondia Sam Gigton tuweza kumshuhudia Hassan Mwakinyo akifikisha hadhi ya nyota nne na kufika mpaka kuwa bondia wa 14 kidunia wakati ule alikuwa kwenye uzito wa super waiter. Yes, kwa hiyo ni pambano ambalo limpa mafanikio makubwa sana Hassan Mwakinyo tukamshuhudia akiingia sasa kwenye rekodi kubwa ya mchezo wa masumbwi. Ni pambano pia ambalo Hassan Mwakinyo alipata heshima ya kuingia ikulu wakati ule kwenye uongozi wa awamu ya tano na mzungumzia hayati Dr. John Joseph Pombe Magufuli. Kwa tumeshuhudia Hassan Mwakinyo akipata fursa hiyo na akapewa nafasi ya kuhutubia taifa Hassan Mwakinyo baada ya kufanya makubwa pale nchini Uingereza. Leo nimekukumbusha hiki kitu kutaliangalia lile pambano la Hassan Mwakinyo alafu pia e, utaniambia wakati lile pambano Hassan Mwakinyo amemaliza referee ameweza kuruhusu sasa watu waendelee kushangilia Hassan Mwakinyo kwa upande wake alikuwa akimtaja bondia ambaye anamtaka kwa sauti kubwa sana kuwekea hii sauti hapa uweze kusikia. Hii leo itakuwa kama homework. Je, unadhani Hassan Mwakinyo alikuwa anamtaka bondia yupi? Msikilize hapa Hassan Mwakinyo akidai kwa sauti akimtaka huyo bondia. on the scene all the way from East Africa with a week's notice and unheard of and unheralded and he takes Sam Eggington the former British Commonwealth and European champion apart congratulations to Mwakinyo what a victory and what a silence there in the blue corner Well, that just shows that you can't take anything for granted in this game. Boxing can be cruel at times, but Sam Eggington just not switched on, getting hit far too often, far too easily, and dropping his guard and just soaking shots on his chin. I mean, the referee gave him every possible chance to do something about it, but he was dazed. And Wakinyo really shocking everybody. I was told earlier he's a very tough African. He's coming to win, and he certainly did come to win. I want Kel Brook he's screaming down at you. Well, he's shouting so Kel. I'm quite perturbed. I don't quite know what to do but he's, he doesn't he's... want you. He wants Kel Brook and I tell you what. What a performance. A long long way from home at short notice against a fighter. Let's be honest, who was using this as a tuna for a major one in a matter of weeks probably Eggington. Well, he looks sharp and confident from the off and that 
that round one finish that he had against Sam Egerton when he had him on the ropes, he then sat down in his corner and he must have thought to himself, I can do this. And he came out round two full of energy, bouncing his step. And look at him, he's quite skillful and sharp and he's got decent power. So, you know, full respect to Moakini, but Sam Egerton really needs to go back to the drawing board now and have a think about what happened there, speak to his corner man and um, see how serious he wants to take this because he had a massive opportunity in front of him that's been totally torn away from him this evening. I'm just flabbergasted at him. His victories have been against very average, limited opposition, Moaquinho. He did lose to Lendrish Akopian, unbeaten in Russia, but the away fighter. This time, he went into the ring, he fancied it, he caught him with a left hook to the body and to the head at the end of the first, and he jumped all over Sam Eggington, who just didn't look switched on at all. No, and you can't be switched off, especially early on in this sport, because there's punches coming at you thick and fast. And um, he's a victim, you know, it's his own fault. Joaquin, you really excited, happy, I mean, as he would be. Well, fascinating stuff. Yeah, well done, Hassin Joaquin. Listen out for this name now. Huge upset here in Birmingham in front of his fans at the arena as Hassan Mwakinio arrives on the scene all the way from East Africa with a week's notice. And unheard of and unheralded, and he takes Sam Eggington, the former British Commonwealth and European champion, apart. Congratulations to Moaquinho. What a victory, and what a silence there in the blue corner. Well, that just shows that you can't take anything for granted in this game. Boxing can be cruel at times, but Sam Eggington just not switched on, getting hit far too often, far too easily, and dropping his guard and just soaking shots on his chair. I mean, the referee gave him every possible chance to do something about it, but he was dazed. And Joaquinho really shocking everybody. I was told earlier he's a very tough African. He's coming to win, and he certainly did come to win. I want Kel Brook, he's screaming down at you. Well, he's at ringside, Carl. I'm quite perturbed, I don't quite know what to do, but he's, He he's... doesn't want you, he wants Kel Brook. And I tell you what, what a performance. A long, long way from home, at short notice, against a fighter, let's be honest, who was using this as a tune-up for a major one in a matter of weeks, probably Eggington. Well, he looked sharp and confident from the off, and that, that round one finish that he had against Sam Eggerton when he had him on the ropes, he then sat down in his corner and he must have thought to himself, I can do this, and he came out round two full of energy, bouncing his step, and look at him, he's quite skillful and sharp and he's got decent power, so, you know, full respect to Moaquinho, but Sam Eggerton really needs to go back to the drawing board now and have a think about what happened there, speak to his corner man and... Um, See how serious he wants to take this because he had a massive opportunity in front of him that's been totally torn away from him this evening. I'm just flabbergasted at him. His victories have been against very average, limited opposition, Moaquinho. He did lose to Lendrish Akopian, unbeaten in Russia. Your referee, Howard Foster. And now, your referee, Howard Foster.